Well, joining us now from Kabul is Charles Davey, who's managing director of the charity Afghan Aid. Charles, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, I understand you were in Kabul a year ago when this happened, weren't you? Um, can you talk us through what life has been like in this year since the Taliban took over? Good evening, Tessa. Thank you. Yes, um, I was indeed in Kabul last year when it, when it all happened. In fact, I think I departed from Kabul the same day as that uh, clip that you just showed. Um, and uh, I came back about 10 weeks later. And um, since then, I would say the situation is generally, yes, there's, there's considerably less violence. Um, the, I believe there's much, much less corruption perhaps less criminality. And uh, we have access now to pretty much the whole of the country. Um, those places, those areas that were formerly occupied by the Taliban are now accessible to us to provide the services and assistance. How, how many um, people need assistance? Because we're hearing of this humanitarian catastrophe, people in extreme poverty, so many millions of people going hungry. What kind of situation are you dealing with there? The UN estimates at the moment that it's about 19 million people who are who are just don't have enough to eat. Um, that figure is likely to climb as we go through to the rest end of the year. The harvests this year have been very poor. We're in the second year of drought, and um, as we get as we approach winter, uh, many many people are just not going to have enough to eat. Uh, there's many wells are getting dry, and there's not enough clean water to drink and uh, the country's in desperate need of assistance. We, we also saw some pictures at the weekend uh, of women protesting, both over lack of food, but also about access to schools. We're hearing, you know, girls attending secret schools, secondary education still banned. Um, the number of women in employment has dropped. Women and girls really are bearing the brunt of this, aren't they? That's certainly girls who aren't going, going, going to high school. They've been missed for about a year. Um, women are many out of work. Um, but I would say I would say those rural women who were female headed households, uh, they're pretty much 100 percent of them are are uh, without enough to eat. It, it really is a. a a bleak picture, isn't it? And with Western economic sanctions, it's making it presumably much harder for aid agencies to help. Are you able to help at all? Do you feel like you are making a difference? Oh, absolutely. We're making a big difference where we're able to operate, where we have enough funds to do that with. Um, as I say, we have access now. We have uh, local government is supporting, supporting us in that work. Um, there's still some some obstacles, but the biggest thing is the the amount of funds available. The UN made an appeal earlier in the year for four billion, four point four billion. I think that request is about only thirty eight percent filled so far, and uh, I say there's desperate desperate needs everywhere. 